My name is Justin and I am training to be a super soldier. For the next three months, I'm gonna be doing the recommended routine from the Bodyweight Fitness subreddit. This is my first progress report. The Bodyweight Fitness subreddit, in many ways, is like any other part of the internet. It's got its fair share of trolls, but it also has a lot of useful stuff. The recommended routine put together by the lovely folks at the Bodyweight Fitness subreddit is one of the more useful things I've come across on the internet, especially as far as online fitness communities go. It's basically a bodyweight workout program for beginners. Now, people tend to have very different definitions of what a beginner is. And just for the record, I'm not really a beginner in fitness, so hopefully by the end of the program I can give you a fairly accurate assessment as to this program's skill level. Alright, now on to the routine itself. The strength work consists of three pairs of exercises for five to eight reps. You do the first one, then you rest 90 seconds. And then you do the second one, and then you rest 90 seconds. And then you do the first one again, and then you rest 90 seconds, and then so on and so forth, until you've done both exercises three times. So, we have the pull-up progression paired with the squat progression, the dip progression paired with the hinge progression, and the row paired with the push-up. Now in case you guys don't know what a progression is, it's basically a scaled down or scaled up variation of a particular exercise, usually based on your current skill level. So for example, a scaled down pull-up progression would be, say, a negative pull-up. And an example of a scaled up pull-up progression would be the weighted pull-up or the one-arm pull-up. So with all that said, here are the progressions that I am going to be starting at. We have the weighted pull-up, the pistol squat. Yes, I know, I'm a badass. The weighted ring dip. Did I say badass? Oh yeah. The harak curl and the sumo deadlift. The tuck front lever and the lever push-up. After the strength, we have the core triplet which covers anti-extension, anti-rotation, and extension itself. These are the exercises that I will be starting at. On the off days, I'm gonna be doing the skill routine, also found on the Bodyweight Fitness subreddit. The skill day focuses mostly on the handstand and the L-sit. Now that we've run through the entire program, how did I actually feel after the first few days? Well, these were the numbers I got during my first workout. I gotta say, the numbers are actually quite a bit lower than what I can normally do for a max. I'll be honest, I did find the 90 second rest time to be kinda challenging because I'm used to doing doing three minutes or longer rests for strength work. Hey, what can I say? I'm a lazy man and I like my rests. I also haven't been doing barbell work for a while and I generally am a little bit paranoid when it comes to back issues, so really conservative for the sumo deadlift. Now as far as the workout goes itself, I did notice that you have to be really strict on your rest times. If you're not, then the workout is gonna run really long. I highly recommend not sitting there twiddling your thumbs or sliding into some hot Instagram girl's DMs during your 90 minute rest period, cause that 90 second rest is gonna turn into a three minute rest and that's gonna turn into a five minute rest. So that's it, my very first progress report for my three month journey in the recommended routine. Also, just for the record, I am trying to lean up for a bit to get rid of this uh, winter padding. So yes, I will be eating at a slight caloric deficit. Will this affect my strength gains? Quite possibly. But hey man, look, summer's coming up and looks matter. It's the real world after all. I will be checking in every few weeks, so be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to keep up with me and, of course, if you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my day-to-day, -day, please feel free to follow my Instagram page, which is down there somewhere. So yeah, follow me there too. Alright everyone, I will see you next time. Peace out.